certainly some of the same features we saw in the adult skull. Uh, many of the bones are similar. Frontal bone, parietal bone. In the back, we have the occipital bone, temporal bone. Um, even some of the sutures you'll notice or you'll be able to recognize. Uh, sagittal suture coming right down to the sagittal plane. Coronal suture, remember the crown of the head and the coronal plane. Even the Greek lambda, lambdoid suture, squamous suture, a lot of similar features. Um, obviously size is going to be different here. But one thing that I want to point out in the fetal skull are something that most people have probably heard of before. And these are what are commonly referred to as the soft spots of a baby's head. Um, we refer to them as fontanelles. Fontanelles are the little fountains. So if you listen to the names, uh, the names actually do make very good sense. And they're kind of easy to remember once you get the hang of it. So let me point out the first one right here. This is the anterior fontanelle. Remember, anterior means front side. So anterior fontanelle, front side here. This, of course, here on the back is the posterior fontanelle. So anterior fontanelle here, posterior fontanelle, right at the apex of the lambdoid suture. On the side here, we have the anterolateral. Listen to the name, anterior. This is your anterior side, anterolateral, because of course we're looking at the lateral side of the skull. Back here we have the posterior lateral fontanelle. And of course you'll see those on both sides, anterior lateral, posterior lateral.